the Joe Rogan experience. The two live crew, in a lot of ways, were like the Lenny Bruce of rap. They were the ones who got punished. They went to, and they got busted in Broward County, Florida. Broward is like, you know, the way that's if if you're getting, if you're if you're doing up to anything that might be like a little slimy. And you get arrested, and they bring you to get charged in Broward County, Florida. Ooh, you're fucked, kid. I see them all the time on a uh, Life PD, Broward County. When when they go to Broward County, it's a great one. You guys ever see that show? No, it's you unbelievable. Love that show. You keep talking about it. You love it. Oh, it's so great. <laughs> it, it makes cops look like freaking Mister Rogers' neighborhood. Like it's just amped up, and they they just keep it moving. It's beautiful. <clears throat> we go now. They make everything seem super live, even though sometimes I'll be watching a rerun, but I'll just pretend like it's live, you know? That's funny. What's going to happen next? It's weird how many cop shows there have been and how much we love watching, like, cops. Like, those kind of shows, like, where, where someone's actually getting arrested. Yeah. Those shows are captivating for us. Nowadays, they've gotten famous, like, you know, these counties that they do it in. So sometimes someone will get pulled over or whatever, and, like, they'll be all fucked up. Like, oh, shit, is this live PD? What's no up? Way. And it's always the best. That's funny. Yeah. One guy already saw he's been on it twice. He's like, I was on it last week. It's <laughs> 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 uh, hilarious. Oh. oh my god, that's so stupid. <laughs> it could happen to us. I mean, we, technically it could happen to anybody. Next thing you know, you have a camera in your face and I mean what are you gonna do? Yeah, what are you gonna do? If you're in one of those areas and you get Well it's over. just the business of making rea- you know, air quote reality TV so weird. It's so weird. That's the most reality reality TV because it's not planned. Right. Like, you know for sure they're not talking to the perps and saying beforehand, okay, this is what I want you to do. I want you to pretend that you're taking off and then we follow you and then you hit the brakes. I'm like, I'm just playing. Just say that. Yeah. You would never, you know, you'd never get a criminal to do that correctly where it wouldn't look, you know, right. wouldn't look fake. But these guys, when you know they're getting arrested, you see the glassy look in their eye, you see them confused and stupid, you see them say crazy shit, you see them get pushed against the car, you see them screaming at their old lady with their shirt off, you see them. These are real people. That's reality TV. It might be the only reality TV there really is. Because everything else, everyone's painfully aware the camera's there. The only thing that sucks about it is the cops are bad actors. Like most of those cops on those shows are like, well, you know, we're just doing our best here to keep the community safe. Like... Relax, bro. Yeah. Stop with the. Like, Some of those guys are already getting famous. Of course. Off that's the live PD. Like with of the course. main guys dating Lana Del Rey, I think. Sticks? Yeah. Hey, <laughs> good job, Sticks. Yeah. Woo! <laughs> good for him. Lana Del Rey supporting our first responders. <laughs> I love it. Go out there and get it done. Yeah, he's going to become famous. And then it's going to be corrupt. Just like everything else. It's going to fall apart. And they're going to fake arrests. You know what? Uh, we were talking about Les Stroud from Bigfoot. Huh? He sent me an email. Said, uh, he uh, was working with uh, a t- television channel t- that not to be named, and he had a problem again with them trying to <coughs> fix shit and fake things. A lot of these shows that you're watching, some producer has faked stuff. It yeah. happened with me in a show that I was on. I had to get furious at this uh, production company that did this show because they faked something on a show that I was on. I was but, so uh, mad when I found out that Cheaters wasn't real, that they set up Cheaters. Remember Cheaters, Joey Greco? I do remember that. But was it real when he got stabbed? Because he got stabbed. That's what ended that show. I don't know if that was real. Yeah, maybe it was set up mm. after he got stabbed so he didn't get fucked up anymore. But Be, Find out ended, if yeah. that was staged. Because if it was all staged, it was all fake. They busted someone and someone stabbed him. I thought it was... You think f- it's fake? The, the it fake has stabbing? been suggested that the stabbing incident was staged. Oh! <gasps> yeah. Staged or fake? It says staged. Yeah. Hmm. What does that mean? Would you let someone stab you on television? Like, how much money would they have to be? <laughs> yeah. That's dangerous. You get stabbed, man. You could die. I don't think they stabbed him. I think they I had think red, so. red ink or red paint or, you know, bl- fake blood. Hmm. Had him really just clench up. Inside Edition reported, according to a paid actor... That was a fake act. He was paid $400 to act out phony scenarios on the show. I don't well, know if that was that exact stabbing. I thought that was going to see. I had a friend of mine uh, back in New York that used to do uh, those shows that would like Jenny Jones and shit like that. or You know those shows? Like Phil Donahue, like any kind of show? Yeah. Like, uh, hey, um, we're looking for a guy who's been secretly having an affair 
with his brother's wife for the last year. You know anybody? Like, <laughs> what a coincidence. <laughs> I've been secretly having an affair with my brother's wife. They're like, oh, my God. Are you free on Tuesday? Like, yep. And then they'd bring him in. And then we'd go do that, and they would call him back. Like, we're looking for a guy who pretended to be a police officer and would arrest people. Do you know anybody like that? <laughs> What a, cra- I, what a crazy world. I used to be a cop. So they would just run a scenario by him. And he would say that was, and they, everyone knew what was, what was going on. And so they were all covered, right? He lied to them. They didn't know. And so he would show up and do this goofy fucking show and he would just act it out. I saw him on a couple different ones. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, Springer, uh, I, everyone thought, you know, Springer was real too until you, it got just obnoxious. They kept like running out of crazy things to Springer's do. Springer's not real? Oh, yeah. No. No? No. Are you kidding? I can't tell whether you're being serious or not. I didn't know if it was real. <laughs> Sometimes things are real. I don't think I don't know about that on Springer. I'm not sure, though. I mean, some were so obnoxiously fake. Like, these people break. They they would have... They, by the end, they had such bad actors. People were, like, laughing at themselves and stuff. Like, Dude, some of those shows were great, though. Yeah. Some of those... It just... There's moments on those shows. It's hilarious that the security guard from Jerry Springer ended up with his own TV show because yeah. he got so famous for running up on stage, stopping <laughs> yeah. all the fights. Steve Wilkos. Steve. That's hilarious. His show. I love I love flipping those on sometimes if I'm at a hotel or something random, you know what I mean? Just like just seeing what people are really watching, the daytime uh insanity. Every now and then you catch a gem. Catch a gem of an episode. One of those uh, Maury Povich's, you are not the father. And the guy's dancing oh, and going best. crazy. <laughs> the best. One of my favorite ones, I was I don't remember which show it was, but I was watching it with Candy Alexander. We were in my dressing room when we were doing news radio. We are just bored in between scenes. We are watching TV. Because sometimes, like, if they're setting up a scene, like, if, maybe if they're special effects or something, like, you might be there for fucking two hours, right? So we're watching. It might even have been rehearsal. I don't remember because it was during the day. But we're watching uh, the show, and this girl has this, like, real slutty outfit on and uh she's got all this attitude and she's tell you know telling everybody she's the shit and y'all are just jealous you know and uh this one dude gets up and it was like one of the most calm dismantlings of a, of a person i ever saw a guy do the guy got up and again i'm i don't think he's an actor i don't think he planned this he goes see you could pull that off, but it's all about your attitude. He goes, if you had some pizzazz, you could pull that off. But your attitude stank, and that make you look nasty. And <laughs> <laughs> fucking, the whole place is just... <laughs> it was the timing, but your attitude stank, and that make you get look nasty. I fucked it up. But she, Dude, it was, it was one of those moments where... You know, she has this look on her face like she just got hit with a fucking Mike Tyson right hand. Yeah. <laughs> like like Deontay Wilder just bombed on her. Like, what? Those moments. You get those moments every now and then. If you watch a religious show, you'll get one of those moments sometimes. Every now and then, they'll just say something so ridiculous. You're like, what the fuck did you say? Yeah, they ended up, you know, it ends up being too rhythmic sometimes at the end. Like, everybody that would walk off would always walk off on Maury to, like, that green room in the back right down the hallway. There's clearly, you know, the cameras set up for access for there and everything. And it would have been more random if they stormed off another direction sometimes. Something more believable. 